In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a large language model on your own system and uh, run it in a UI such as this, where you can give an input prompt and you get an output. And I'm going to go through a set of descriptions that I've outlined in this markdown file. It's on my GitHub. I, I put the link into the description so you can follow that step by step. And we're going to go through this in this video. We're going to be using one uh, tool here, which is a web UI, which you can find on GitHub. I'll also link the GitHub repo in the description. So full credit for the UI goes to this GitHub author here. That's very nice. And uh, we're also going to be importing a large language model from Hugging Face, which is a hub for, for models, right? And we're going to be installing this alpaca LoRa 7B. So there's a bunch of models you can download, and this is the one we're going to to download and, and use today. So right now, this is just kind of right now, not yet set up. We're going to be doing that step by step so we can we can access it. I uh, rented a GPU Ubuntu uh, instance for this demo because I don't have my own Ubuntu GPU, but uh, this is just like if you had your own local Ubuntu uh, machine and you can go through it step by step to, to set it up. All right, so we're going to go through this, the first thing that we have to do, of course, is a uh, an update. Um, then if you need this git lfs uh, program, then you should also install it, you might already have it. Uh, but if not, that's the way to do that. We're going to be cloning the repo that I've just shown. And this will put it into a folder text generation web UI. And we're going to get this Alpaca LoRa 7B model from Hugging Face. So on Hugging Face, you'll find descriptions on how to how to import it. And this is in principle is these two lines here. And um, I already have it pre-installed. This takes a few minutes to download, but I have it here already. So we have now in these two folders our Alpaca model and our UI uh, code from from GitHub. So if I want to run this, I actually have to put this model in this subfolder here. So in this text generation web UI, there is the subfolder models and it says, you know, put your, put your models here. And we have to make a subfolder in this uh, directory that is named after the author, right? So um, that's what I'm making here. And then we are going to move our model into that subfolder, right? So what did I just create it? That's all in there now. We only have that um, text generation web UI folder. I'm going to go into this folder and I want to run it with Docker. In order to run it, there has to be a environment file set up. So there is a template.env.example that you just kind of copy into your specific end file and then you have to make some edits and that's here in this in this next step so i'm going to go into this file here and there's just two things i edit right so i'm removing this w bits four and i'm going to type in the correct name of the model we're going to be using right so and that follows the convention again author slash and then i'll alpaca dash laura dash seven b and then everything should be set um it, it might be that you have to modify this version number here uh, but in most cases this should just work so i'm going to save this and now i'm ready to start the the docker build and um running the docker container so it's a docker compose up and build. When you run it, it actually might take a couple of time, a couple of minutes the first time you run it because it has to download a bunch of um, you know image builds and you know build the entire image and then and then locally store it. I've done all that before, so we can kind of get into it right away. And now it tells me everything is is running here. It's um, it's pretty much on that local URL at this port here seven eight six zero. And I'll go there with my with my host address and uh, and start it. And now I have my uh, UI here, right? And I can give it a prompt. So it goes a little bit by a certain convention here, the prompt. But you put your prompt in here, 
right? And I would basically do something like write a Python implementation for the Newton method. So again, whatever you want to ask it now, you can you can do that. Um, it kind of tells you you can limit the number of tokens. I'm just going to go for the full 2000 here and then I'm going to click on generate. And now it's happening. The response is actually giving me that uh, Newton method function, right? So just as you're used to making a request to chat GPT or a large language model, that's what you what you get here. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the, the comments. And I'm going to be doing more about how to actually leverage you know, models that you, you download yourself and then run on your own system. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, watch out for more videos on that. And I'll see you hopefully in one of those next videos. Take care.